Space 101.1 FM KMGP welcomes you to Broken Alaska, the world's only improvised radio drama series. New Year's Eve is traditionally the time for people to take stock of what they've accomplished over the past 12 months and look to the future with renewed energy and drive. But this is broken, and there are some things that have happened this year that no one wants to dwell on. Joey Maglioni has been keeping track of some of these less desirable things, and full of natural curiosity would love to learn more. A shift down at Radio Free Broken is just finishing up. What will happen if Joey asks Johnny99 for some advice? Let's find out. And we're off the air for a bit. All right, Joey, I'm all yours. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Now, what is it you needed to see me about? Well, I kind of wanted to pick your brain a little bit. You seem to know a lot of the the stuff that's going on around town here, and I'm interested in sort of discovering stuff, too. Discovering, like you want to be a journalist. I want to have the truth in the paper, and it seems like there's just so much stuff happening, things that I can't explain. Like the mayor and how he's never here, or where the logging money goes, or that empty fishing processing boat that the Viking, whatever his name is, Larsenson, he's guarding. Like For one that. thing, like like that dog, where'd that dog come from? Pugsy. Yeah. Oh, that English chick brought him in. You know, that dog ate one of my two cockatoos, and when I called him out on it, he looked at me, and he curled up one side of his snout, and he said, mind your own business, human scum. Oh, man, the nerve of that dog. So, anyway... I came to you because I'm just trying to figure out, you know, I have my stupid little little column in the paper, but I want to do more than that, and I was wondering if you had any ideas how I could go about that. All right, let's transition you from being just a community affairs beat reporter. Let's turn you into an investigative reporter. Ooh, I like that. Here, I got this. It's uh, oh. This is something I got from a friend of mine. He used to be a vice cop in San Francisco. He was a sweet guy, but he ended badly. Vice cop? Wow. What is this? This is a wire recorder. Oh. Now, I want you to put the pack on your belt. Oh. Right? God, it's kind of heavy. It is a little, but it's built to last. But this uh, issue, you know? Okay. Yeah. Got it. All okay. Right. Now, I'm going to run this wire down your back. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I- Loosen <laughs> up your jacket. All right. right. That's kind of funny. It yeah. kind of tickles and itches all at once. Yeah, All right. I know. Yeah. Now, we're going to pin this microphone. Put your jacket back on. Tighten it up there. We're going to put right. this on your lapel. Oh. Hide it good and tight, right? Whoa! You can't even tell i got nothing on here. That's the idea. So what do I do now? So you want to learn what the secrets are in this town. Yeah. People are going to be at the New Year's Eve party. That's right. You will have a golden opportunity to wander around. Now, don't do a lot of talking. No. Get them to talk to you. You gotta listen. Gotta listen, and you have to know what questions to ask, right? Because you are gonna be in a prime position to hear and learn everything that you might wanna know. So, for instance, I shouldn't say something like, You got any secrets? I would avoid that. Yeah, that would be kinda obvious. Yeah. Like, let's say you talk to Heather. Mm -hmm. Don't ask her where the mayor is or who is he spending the money on. Just ask her maybe. Is he well? What was he wearing? Oh, man, you could do this job. I could, but I have to man the ramparts here at Radio Free Broken because we are the last bastion of independent thought in southeastern Alaska. That's right. Let's keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Now, you just go to the holiday party. Get close to people. Let them talk to you. And then just find a way to steer the conversation to something you might want to know about. Yeah. Now, you've got a fresh 9-volt in there, so that should be good all night. Mm. But be sure to take a spare out of the cabinet in the back before you go, okay? Man, you're awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. i got to cue up the next set of songs here to keep breaking their hearts and inspiring them for the new year. So I'll be here for the rest of the night. Yeah. You go and do what you need to do. All right. Just remember, you came out here looking for the truth. The truth is waiting for you to find it. All right. If Joey's looking for dirt on the people of Broken, there's plenty of material to work with. Let's head down to the Harbor Palace restaurant and see if Joey can learn anything interesting. Okay, 
Do we hear at the Harbor Palace? Oh, man, Johnny was right. Party's going stronger. Hey, I'm going to go check out and see what different people are talking about. Wait a second. There's Denise and Louise. They might have some good juice. Oh, Denise. <laughs> How are you? Oh, uh, I see you're here with Lars. This is your first date. No, oh. How's it going? It's marvelous. He's such a gentleman. Oh, you guys look so cute together. Thank oh, you. And New Year's Eve, you know what they say? Why? What do they say? They say New Year's Eve, new relationship begin. I like the sound of that. So you're going to kiss at midnight? Maybe. Oh, my, have you had this cocktail? No, is what delicious. is it? You know, I don't know. It has vodka. It's my, uh... I don't know how many I had, but they're so good. I might get another. Wait, are all these cups yours? But oui, it's New Year. You know how to celebrate. In France, we go crazy for the New Year. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, stop counting. Come on. Oh, oh, I love this song. You know, I think I could save the environment with this melody. Le petit papa Noël. Ah, Et le sapin avec oh. le ciel. Louise, Louise not on the table. Louise. Louise, bring it back down to the floor. Come up, come here. People are staring. You're knocking over. You're kicking over. Seven, eighteen. You're kicking your cups over. Oh, Lars is looking. Heck, pull me up. Uh, yes, come on, Denise. Jingle <laughs> bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Hello, Lars. How about you teach me some dance moves so I can impress him? Oh, yes. I call this the zappity zoopity zoo. You just shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Ooh. Yes, do the right. Come on, Denise, shimmy more. Shimmy, Move shimmy, your shimmy. shoulders. Is okay, this yes. Right? Yes, oh, beautiful. Oh, okay. it feels so good. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yes, and the hips just sway back and forth. Okay. Oh, Lars will love that. There's no way you won't have a kiss at midnight with oh. those dance moves. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. Oh, yes, the shimmy, shimmy here. Now kick step, kick that's, step. That's oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Louise, I think, oh, I think you're knocking out oh, things again. Oh, oh. oh I see this song. Oh, this song. Joey, Joey. I want yeah. to sing it for the environment. Oh, my God. Take care of Louise. Oh, Louise, come here. Louise. The environment. Oh, Joey. Oh, Joey, you can help me sing. I will help you get off the table. You will sing when you get down. To be safe here. It's okay. Denise, look at all the people. There's so many. This is quite fun. Do you dance? I guess. Luis showed me some groovy dance moves. Oh, I don't really dance myself. Maybe a bit. I can teach you. I'd be loving to learn to dance with you. So you set your hands right here. And oh. it's all in the hips, Luis said. Ooh, ooh. And you just step back and forth. And you could do a little shimmy if you want. Or a little shake. Oh, I'm sorry. I stepped on your toes. Oh, it's quite okay. It's okay, I, you know, the fishing business things fall on your toes all the time. Oh. Yeah, it's usually heavy fish, cold fish, but uh, your toes are quite nice. How's that going? Well, you see, they've put off the processing for some years now, so I'm just a security guard, basically, at night. Uh, I have quite a bit of time on my hands. I could show you sometime. I'd love that. Uh, oh, Sorry. no, Sorry. it's okay, quite okay. Yes. May I ask you a personal question? Sure. It's very, very, it might be something important, but uh, I keep hearing the stories about your dog. Oh, Lars. My little Pugsy, is that what you're asking about? Well, that he's very, a very protective dog. Yes, he's a very good dog. But uh, is it true he uh, bit a man's leg off? Oh, he was fine. It was still attached. Pugsy would never rip a whole leg off of someone. Oh, Oh, my God. What's the Pugsy's name? Is Pogsy. Is a Poggy name a Pogsy? Yes. And we're not sure what kind of dog he is. He has the face of a pug, but he changes with the season. You know, he has a face only a mother could love, and I'm his mother, and I think he's adorable. Hello. I'd love to meet the Pogsy sometime at a safe distance, perhaps. I'll be a bit too concerned, but may I ask you one more question? Absolutely. Would you and Pogsy want to visit me on a uh, Tuesday night, perhaps? Tuesday night sounds lovely. Oh, excellent. That's fantastic. I'll make some fish. Oh, Pugsy loves fish. He loves anything, really. You don't even have to cook it. Right. Okay. But do you enjoy fish? Should I make some fish? Absolutely. Oh, I'm so pleased. Do you don't mind then coming to the Mushi Mushi Toibashi trawling processing plant? Oh, I love your little words. I would love that. Oh, I'm exceptionally excited. I'm so excited. It's going to be very, very fun. <laughs> 
Hi, Mark. Hi, Annika. How, how are you doing? I, oh, I'm good. Thank you for you asking. You enjoying the party? I am. I am. It's really great to see you. Good to see you, too. I'm glad, glad you're having a good time. Thank you. I really like that shirt on you. It's really festive. Oh. Well, really. Thank you. I, fits you well. I, I like your coat. Thank you. New fleece, right? Uh-huh. Your, Do you want to touch it? It's really soft. Um, sure. I, I, I guess. It's, yeah, it is soft. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> you're... you're, you're um, you're, yeah. You're welcome. Can I get you anything? Um, more salmon? Than oh, the drink? I'm doing okay at the moment. It's just nice to have a conversation with you. Yeah, it's, it's always nice to have a chance to talk to you, I guess. Uh, really? Yeah. Do you really mean that? Yeah, I like, I like talking to people. Oh, you're absolutely amazing and so generous, and you've got the best eyes ever. Oh, <sighs> uh, Thank you. Did you feel the other uh, shoulder of my jacket? Well, I, I imagine it pretty much feels the same as the first shoulder, so... Well, why don't you feel and compare? Okay. I'm not feeling any difference subjectively, but... Um, it's okay. How are the sleeves? Are the sleeves soft? Um, well, from what I can tell, they look soft, so I'll just take that as red, okay? Okay. You sure I can't get you anything? Um... Bloody Mary? Um. No, I'm good. Thank you. I have to tell you how much I love your coffee. And watching you make coffee is so fun. Your hands are just... It's like you're playing a musical instrument when you're using that machine. Um, well, thank you. I, I guess uh, the best I could say is I was well-trained. <gasps> well-trained. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I didn't come into the world knowing how to run an espresso machine. Had to learn it like everybody else. It just looks like you know it so well, like you were born doing it, you know. Those are just magical hands that just dance across the espresso machine and grab the coffee beans. Um, Rose, <laughs> hi. Are you guys talking about espresso? Uh, yeah, yeah. She was uh, just... Hi, she... Rose. Hi, Annika. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, my gosh. Did you get to see Denise and Lars? I think they're on their first date. Isn't oh that adorable? My God. It's, is... it's magical. It's yeah, amazing. I... She it's, looks so uh, happy. She does, and he She's, looks really awkward. Oh my gosh, Rose! Yeah, he, Rose, <laughs> is that Joey over there? Oh yeah, that's Joey. Yeah. So I was talking to Denise earlier, and I was asking her, like, are they, are they dating now? And she said that she hopes so. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it. You what? know, Rose, I, th- I think wonderful. Joey's kind of lonely over there by the buffet. And, hey, and, Joey. Yeah, I'll ask Joey about that too. That sounds so fun. So, Mark, I was going to ask you something. Yeah. I maybe, know it's maybe. New Year's Rose, Sorry, I, I really, Joey seems to be waving you over and saying, hey, come here. I think there's a problem with the salmon croquettes or something. Okay. Um, yeah. Really? Um, yeah, look at, I think you need to tend to Joey real quick. Okay. I right, wouldn't I'll delay. Yeah, 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 don't delay. I'll stop in your shop tomorrow. Uh, yeah, yeah, you. All right, cool. All right, you I'll really should take care of that, Rose. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Yeah. Hey, Joey, yeah. Joey. Hey. Oh, man, here comes Rose. i got to ask her a couple of things now. Okay, over and out. Hey, Joey, how's it going? I'm doing good. Did How you, you need doing? me? A- Annika said that you were asking for me. Well, I mean, it's nice that you're here. I just was waving hi, but oh. thanks for coming over to talk to me. <laughs> Happy New Year, Joey. Yeah, and to you, too. Are you loving the party? It's so great. Oh, it's just this awesome party. Do Almost you... everybody's here. I know, I know. Have you been uh, helping cook the things for a long time here? Uh, you know, I, I kind of help to direct a lot of it, and I, of course... Yeah give a lot of my produce and stuff for some of the recipes and things, but mostly I think it's Mama Tutti's doing a lot of the stuff. She and Charlie have worked together a lot. Did you try the tiramisu? Oh, no, I'm going to try the musu next. Extra mousse That'll for New Year's so. Eve. Yeah, so what are, you, what are your wishes for the coming year? <laughs> oh, gosh, that's a good question. I don't know, you know, just the continued success of the produce stand, of course, and... Um, so where were you before here? What were you doing that before um, here? <clears throat> California. I was down in California. California? That's yeah. a pretty big state. There's Southern California. There's Northern California. It's beautiful. Have you ever been to California? I want to go to California. Maybe you could tell me some nice places to go that you oh, used to live in. Lots of places there. Lots. Yeah. yeah, I traveled around a lot for my job. I was a, a produce rep for Cal Veg Industries. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. kind of how I got a lot of my contacts, you know, yeah. for the produce stand up here. Yeah, you got family down there? Um... No, how about you? Where You were from New York, right? Yeah, no family in California, that's for sure. No, I yeah. So well, anymore. you should go and visit sometime. It's a beautiful place. I will, I will. So then what, what made you decide to come to Broken? It's gorgeous up here, of course. You know, I came up on one of the tours. The, uh-huh. the cruise ship, the Queen of the Gulls, brought me up one time, and 
I saw a real need for a, a fresh vegetable and produce stand here in town, and I thought this could be an opportunity. So I decided to just uh, drop anchor. Yeah, that must have been quite a change from your past life. Yeah. Um, well, I, you know, like I said, my past life, you know, it was the produce stuff at Calvet. And you, you've been here for a couple of months now, right? Like six, six, six months? Six, seven months. How are you seven. liking it? Do you have any... Any hopes and dreams for the new year, Joey? How about you? Yeah, I got lots of hopes and dreams, but, you know, don't we all? I guess that's true. Yeah, and, and we're all our secrets and our, and our secrets. unsecrets and our good secrets and our bad secrets. You got any secrets, Rose? I suppose everybody's got secrets, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, Silly question. We all got secrets. You, you know it. what? I see those salmon croquettes over on the buffet table. They're getting a little low. I'm going to make sure there's enough of those. And um, Denise asked me to save some for Pugsy, that dog. She said uh, they were his favorite. But I'm kind of scared of what he'll do if I don't save some. So uh, I couldn't help Dolores, but, hey! I couldn't help but overhearing um, you want a to-go for Pugsy. A pugsy? That's right. If you could save some of the salmon croquettes in a special box. Here, here, you know what? See you later, Joey. I'm going to go talk to Dolores about the, the croquettes. Yeah, yeah you but, go do that. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye. See you later. Bye. Okay, come on. Let's get this okay, yeah. Hey, Brick, I think the sheriff is a bit of Jägergeist and he's had just a bit. <laughs> a lot, Lars. <laughs> anyway, hey, quickly, just while there's no one around, okay? Yeah. Guess what I picked up yesterday? A rider duck from Seattle. I don't know about the duck. Well, it's a it's a vehicle that does both road and river. It's an amphibious assault Amph- vehicle. That's it, basically. Yeah, pretty much. And yeah. does it have a gun? No, but it has a lot of room. And I thought that if we're going to start that mobile cremation service, we can take it up river, the shortcut to Austinville, because that's where most of our business is going to be. Oh, All right. Oh, that's genius, Brick. Genius. Then. We'll just get a modified pizza oven to put in it for the cremation. And then we've got the option of not only putting bodies on the raft for the Viking funeral, we can actually dump the ashes out of the ocean. How about that? Oh, we can paddle the boat out into the thing with the motor on the amphibious assault vehicle. You got it. How and then that? dump them right in and away. Yeah. And we... make a smaller fire so that the thing can I mean. Well, we can charge extra for, you know, like burials at sea. I think in the Nordic burial is an honorable tradition. We'll be able to charge quite a bit. And yeah, what would we call it? The Viking burial. The Viking burial service. There's they love that up here, wouldn't they? It's a it has a good, 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 great, great ring to it. Uh. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Oh, I'm yeah. loving your thinking here. You're just a genius, brick. Now, how much did it set us back to cost for the amphibious assault vehicle? Twenty-three thousand. <gasps> that's a bargain. That's a bargain. It's quite a bit of. Money. A thousand bucks a burial? Huh? Oh, I don't know if they're going to have 23 bodies by the end Man. of the year. Well, they're Where dying, gonna have they're that dying in Austinville more than they are here, mate. What the, why are they dying in Austinville at such a rate? Well, there's a lot more people there. There's thousands, Lars. There's thousands of people in Austinville. It's a regional center. Well, anyway, I thought you'd like that idea. Well, I love it. You know, it's timely. There's a bit of a, uh, a comfortable right now in Austinville because uh, some bear hunters were shot and uh, killed by accident. So perhaps there's some bodies. Oh, there'll be bodies, yeah. We better get up there and see if uh, we can get some bodies. I've got all the morgues in Austinville tied up. Hey, hey, well, show, show me your hands. Hey, it's the Sheriff Jim. How, how you guys doing? Hey, Sheriff. Uh, anyways, I'm off duty for the next four days. Long yeah. vacation I had since uh, I went in for that evaluation back a couple of years back. Uh-huh. How did that go? Uh, it would fall fine. They, they said I had a drinking problem, and I said I live in Alaska, and they said, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Nice. Darn it all. Anyway, this is a great, uh, great, great evening we've got going here, huh? Anyways, uh, my, my Jägermeister machine broke down. I no. see. And so I need some parts for that too. So, so Brick, you got any contacts? Matt, Dan, okay. talk to you tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, tomorrow afternoon, more likely, yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay, guys, well, you stay safe. Yep. Hello, and chefs. Can, maybe we can walk you down outside. Yeah, let's let's go outside no, for a minute, Jim. At least, at least point me in the right direction. No, 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 no. Come with us. Come with us. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Great. Let's go. Wow. Wonder where Brick and Laws are going. I'm gonna go follow them and check this out. This could be important. You're listening to Broken Alaska, radio's only improvised ongoing drama series on Space 101.1 FM. 
Visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash broken AK and catch up on previous episodes as podcasts on iTunes. Back in Broken, the New Year's Eve party is in full swing. Almost the whole town has turned out over the course of the night, and Joey has heard plenty of gossip. But is there a big story to be had? Joey follows Brick and Lars out to the parking lot of the Harbor Palace restaurant to find out. What are they doing out here? What are they going to talk about? I'm a little suspicious of those guys. Boy, I better find somewhere to hide. Maybe this tree. No, this tree's too skinny and I've been eating too much tiramisu. Where can I hide that they can't see? The dumpsters. There's the dumpsters. Oh, no, cool. All right, let's hear what they're saying. So, Lars, until the duck arrives, you're going to have to put the bodies in the back of your car. I don't know if my car's big enough. It's a bit of a Yugo. That's all right. You know, after a while, post-mortem, they uh, actually get more flexible again. Oh, so maybe I can put them on the roof, you think? Put it, no, I wouldn't do that. That's a little bit too obvious, isn't it? I'd put them in the trunk. Well, how many bodies? Two. Okay. We'll have to improvise up until we get the equipment. Well, I can put them on the processing unit, I suppose, in one of the holes. Well, you can put them in the freezer. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sure. I can do that. That sounds good. Now well, we can stand them up. <laughs> I have put plenty. They could probably hold 200 bodies on the Moti Moti Toibashi unit. Excellent. And about the trip to Austinville, uh, there's a bit of a wee problem. Uh. Uh, you see, I can't go because Tuesday night I have a bit of a meeting with... Uh, uh, Denise? Oh, really? Lars, you, you want to run a business or you want to run a dating service? Make your mind up. Well, I would, I'd like to do both, you see. Because balance, oh, I'm sure you would. A balance in your man's life is important, Rick. Yes, the, the, bodies are, the bodies are ready for you to pick up. I will leave it to you. It's not as if they're going to rot in this weather. Oh, what's that Get over it there? done, Lars. Rick, would you see this person? Hi. Are hey. They, are they dumpster Joey. Diving? Joey! Hey. Hey, guys, how you doing? What the hell are you doing there, Joey? I was just... Garbage was dumped, and I thought I might find something interesting that I dropped in the garbage. Really? Yeah. Hey, look, if you need some money, I'll give you some, Joey. Oh. Don't eat that stuff. Okay. Joey, how long have you been back there? Well, were you guys talking about something I shouldn't have heard? What did you hear, Joey? I don't know. What were you talking about? What you heard was what we were talking about. What did you hear? I just heard what you were talking about. i got to go inside and cover some of the news inside. Joey. Yeah? I'm disappointed. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't ever want to disappoint you, Brick. I'm, I'm on your side. Are you? Really? Yeah. For real. Oh, well, that'll be proven, I suppose. Yeah. All right. And you two, Laws. Come back into the restaurant. It's almost midnight. Okay. All right. Thank you, Heather. Joey, you've been warned. Sounds like Joey was hitting a nerve with Brick. Maybe there is more than meets the eye. But time is running out, and we'd better get back into the Harbor Palace for the countdown to New Year. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Quite a year here in Broken. We have gone on a lot of adventures. Hi, Mark. Happy New Year, Annika. Happy New Year, Mark. You know, it's uh, New Year's Eve tradition to kiss some person on uh, New yeah, Year's. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, you know, because otherwise your year's off to a bad start and you have bad luck. And so you want to start it off in a really good way, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah don't you want good I, luck for the New Year? Yeah, I think everybody does. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know I so, do. Okay, well, yeah, d- um, sure, let's start the new year off right. Give me your cheek here. and I. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Wow, that, wow that your a, lips are amazing. That was a lot of tongue. So soft. Um, oh. Very friendly. Yes, um, that was so wonderful. Well, uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, um, happy... Happy New Year, Annika. I'm just Happy gonna, New Year. I'm going to go over here and count my feelings now, okay. but you just have a good time. Thank, Thank you. you. You too. Happy New Year, Brick. Happy New Year, Rose. How are you doing? Pretty good. Are you having a good time at the party? Yeah, I'm still sober. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, so am I. Sober and alone. Oh, come on. No one seems to want to help me with that, Rose. Well, we had a good time the other night up at your house watching that movie. That I, was I good, think it wasn't it? Was hey, I got hangover too, so if you want to see that... <laughs> Anytime, all right? <laughs> it's a deal. I'll come up next weekend. All right, all right. <laughs> that 
Happy New Year. Happy New Year, bro. See you later, Rick. Okay, yes. Talk to you. Bye. Happy New Year, Rose. <laughs> Happy New Year, Mark. Oh, how are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> I'm having a good time. I noticed you having a very good time um, with Annika. Well, it looked pretty dramatic. Good well, job. Annika's a very dramatic person. But, She's um, a sweetheart. Well, yes, she is. But um, you and you and Brick seem to be. Um, oh, yeah. Cordial. I don't know. We've just been hanging out a bit lately. It's uh, just a friend yeah. thing. He's. Oh. Oh, okay. He's not as bad as he sounds once you kind of get to know him a little bit, I guess. So, I don't know. Well, I, I, I guess it's tradition to give yeah, a it, it is. New Year's Eve kiss, right? So yeah, yeah. The, maybe the, we, so do you, I mean. Yeah, the, the, yeah, happy. Because, I mean, it's tradi- I mean, it's Yeah, it's traditional, traditional right? It's not it like I'm, I didn't, I mean, I'm not saying that I, I mean, on any no, other day I wouldn't. No, it doesn't you know, have to mean anything, no, it's really, just, if you don't want it to, but just friends wishing each other a right, good right. new year. Right, yeah, because yeah, I, yeah, I feel like I should warn you. I probably have coffee, Brad. Oh, don't, <laughs> trust me, don't worry about it. I do too, but I appreciate your telling me. Yeah, um, well, I guess. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, wow. Um, Mark, I think. Yeah, um, Rose. Hi, Mark. Annika. Oh <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year, um, Rose. Um, hey, I'll I'll check with you tomorrow about Yeah. That. Okay, um, yeah, I'll stop by. Yeah, just Annika. run by the Hi. Hey. store. Hey. Hey. Bye, Rose. Okay, bye. bye. Uh, Mark, I was just wondering if um, maybe you'd like to get a cup of coffee? Uh, sorry, yeah. I was just kind of distracted there. Oh. Maybe maybe we could rain check it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank, thank you, Monica. Uh, I don't mind. Oh, I'm sorry, Joey. I, I didn't see you there. Uh, yeah. Well, Happy New Year to you. Oh, Happy New Year. Give us a hug, then. All right, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 hold ow. on. Oh, oh, wait, sorry, oh, sorry. Ow. Jump is caught. Ow. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Um, what? Uh. Oh. Joey, why are you wearing a wire? A wire? Well, I'm I'm on the job, Bert. Is somebody wearing a wire? That's illegal. No, this is a legal wire. When I sober up, I could take you to jail. No, I just was doing some for the journal, for the newspaper, just some information. Joey, you're wearing a wire. It's oh, you, a wi- have it's you been not recording a wi- this this n- entire time? Not the no. Oh, just well, that the, explains a lot, doesn't it? Eh? But is that why you were asking me all those questions? I'm just undercover. I'm not doing. Joey, if you use any of that stuff I told you, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm a bit surprised at you, Joey. I thought we trusted each other in this town. Uh, Why are you spying on us? I'm not spying. I want you to trust me. I trust you. I trust everybody. I just was doing some research. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make anybody mad. I won't... Bad form, Joey. Bad form. Oh, oh Joey. I'm sorry. I, it wasn't my idea. Who put you up to this, Joey? Who helped you with this? Well, somebody. Johnny... This is what you think journalism is? Just spying on us? No, I wasn't spying. I was doing investigative journalism. This is just gossip columns. It's not the people. It's the situations that might have needed some light shed on them. That's all. That's all. You just created the situation, Joey. All right, Joey, you want to learn how to be a journalist? Uh, you come by the bookstore tomorrow. i got two books for you. You yeah. want to know how to use a tape recorder, you're going to be reading Studs Terkel. Because he sat down with the tape recorder like you want to do, but he got people to talk into it and tell their own stories themselves. You're right. I read it in high school. didn't go digging or fishing. But you're right. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry on behalf of Johnny 99. Yep, and I'm also going to give you Mike Royko's book on Richard Daly, Sr., how about the uh, modern uh, journalistic ethics by Dan Rather? That's a good one, too. Look, we all know if Johnny99 decided this was the right thing to do. I mean, we can't really blame Joey for this. So, yeah. you know, yeah. come on, Joey. Let's just join the party. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk yeah, to Johnny come on. tomorrow. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right, could I have some of the moonshine there? Yeah, here yeah. you go, Joey. All right. To Joey. To Joey. Thanks, everybody. Should old acquaintance be forgot? I never brought to mind Should old acquaintance be forgot And days of old lang syne For old lang syne, my dear For old lang syne Oh, dear, so old lang 
The first days of the year pass uneventfully for the people of Broken, but there is a nervous undercurrent running through the town. Everyone wants to hear the tapes from Joey's recordings and learn all the latest gossip. Will the tapes go public? Joey. Hey, Hi. Rick. How you doing? Good, good. How you doing? Um, I'm good. I'm always good. You know that, Brett. Huh? Yeah. I thought I'd talk to you. What's up? You're a New Yorker. You know how to do a deal, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something, and uh, if I do tell you something, I would like to uh, listen to your tapes. Well, the tapes are safe. Where are they, Joey? They're in a safe place. Really? Well, I've been talking to the Alaskan Port Authority, and uh, they're happy for me to develop a hotel on Alaskan Port Authority land, which no one here has influence over. How does that grab you? Is that a headline? You have permission to build a big old hotel right on the water? I don't have permission. We're talking. But You're it's, talking. That's a new story, isn't it? You're talking about getting permission. You're talking very close to getting permission. All right, so is that worth it? If I, if I can uh, give you that story, uh, can I listen to your tapes? So I'd love to hear what was said that night. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was just silly stuff, and like everyone said, you know, I just... I was mentioned? Well, By I, who? Is there someone you uh, particularly well, want well, to Well, let's, let's pick a name out of the hat. How about Rose? Rose... Yeah, mm. she might have mentioned. She, really? Yeah. 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 What'd she say? Well, well, she really just said one thing. She said, she called you, uh, I think it was something like a mealy-faced opportunist dotard. I don't know. What uh-huh. do you think? Is that like a compliment, you think? So she likes me. She must. Uh-huh. You take care, Brick. Yeah, you too, Joey. Yeah, Brick. That's all the time we have for today. You've been listening to Broken Alaska, radio's only improvised drama series on Space 101.1 FM. Look for our podcast on iTunes. We'd tell you what's coming up next week, but since it's improvised, you'll know as soon as we do. Starring in this week's episode were Carol Sparer as Joey, Michael Crowley as Johnny99 and Mark, Carrie Aguila as Rose, Paul Einhorn as Brick, Taylor Edwards as Annika, Kevin Trawick as Lars Larsenson, Kay Laverne Jazz as Dolores, Lisa Kaufman as Louise, Julie Bragg as Heather, Mike Fuller as Bert and the announcer, George Birch Wurtz as George. Music by Audionautics.com. It was directed by Carrie Aguila from an idea by Carrie Aguila.